Let's turn now to summer camp guidelines. The CDC has laid out several strategies to stop the spread of COVID-19. One of those, regular temperature checks. But how effective are they really? Becky Worley found out in today's Healthy You. Health questionnaires and temperature checks have become part of our daily routines. But as we head into summer camp season, some experts caution these temperature checks aren't always consistent and they won't always flag COVID-19. Dr. Alok Patel, a Stanford Health pediatrician, agrees. There tends to be a little bit of a false sense of security with the public when a business or school says, hey, we're checking everyone's temperature. And that's how we know we're safe. And that does appear like a little bit of theatrics because we know that that's not a surefire way to catch every single case of COVID-19. The reason? Experts say pre-symptomatic or asymptomatic COVID patients usually don't have a fever and they can still spread the virus. Plus, a CDC study of more than 1,000 COVID patients reported only 44% having a fever when they were admitted to the hospital. And while some experts say fever checks can provide at least one layer of screening, many also worry they can cause us to worry. We see that a lot. There's, there tends to be this fever phobia. We, people need to understand that fevers are a totally normal part of our immune system. Dr. Patel also says parents should know readings can vary. Depending on person to person, time of day, gender even, and you know, there's a lot of variation. And so fever should be more of like a, a general idea based on the 100.4. Anything above 100.4 being considered a fever. And temperatures can vary depending on the type of thermometer you use. So we wanted to see what would happen if we tried out three popular but different style of thermometers. Oral, infrared for the forehead, and infrared for the ear. We used my 13-year-old son, Finn. Now open up. But first, Dr. Patel took his temperature with an oral thermometer he would typically use in the hospital. That temp, reading 98.4. Now for the oral thermometer we bought online. 98.4. Infrared on the forehead, 98. And the ear thermometer, 99.3 all within a degree of our baseline oral temperature reading. At higher temperatures, it is a much closer call. When you're talking about 100 versus 100.4, there's enough variation there for false positives or false negatives. And if you're wondering how much exercise affects accuracy, yeah. we're building up our temps. Even with the fun pediatrician leading the way, we had no major deviation in temps when we took this sweaty and tired boy's temperature again.